with you or whatever they say, you can just repeat it after them, okay? If y'all don't have a paper, we do have extras up here. Extra chats. <laughs>
We gather together here today, intent of doing good work. We seek to represent fairly and well those who have given us this task. May our efforts be blessed with insight, guided by understanding and wisdom. We seek to, seek to serve with respect for all. Today, may I be open to other ideas and beliefs, respectful of our differences, not threatened by them. May I grow an understanding of my own motives, knowing that people often act out of their own fears. May I be a force for replacing fear with insight helping us all to be patient and kind as we talk. Strength. Real strength can always be found, I mean, can always find compromise. Working together, may we find a common ground, enable us to move, move forward with a shared purpose. May we see what is truly important and unites us, focusing on that to banish roadblocks of ego and fear. May our personal faith give us strength to act honestly and well in all matters before us. Amen.
God bless them, all the students that, that actually spawn this. And there's actually over 7,000. But we are going to start with the 17 from Doman Douglas. the number one priority. With that being said, we're willing to refuse the fact that our own lives are at risk. The NRA does not care, care whether they sell to a teenager with mental issues. They're ignorant to having those mental background checks because they know that they're afraid, because they're afraid of not making money. That's exactly the point. They know we are right. There should be an age limit of 21 of purchasing an assault, an assault rifle. I mean, what kind of team has any good intentions in buying an AR-15? Why is there a no-fly, no-buy list, but we will still let those people purchase guns? How many more deaths until the government officials decide to make a change? But we are done waiting. We are here, we come together, and we are not leaving. We want change. As, we, as many say, we are the good trouble. And there's nothing wrong with that because we are the future voters and we will not stand with those who do, do not stand with us. So many students this past year, starting with back in Florida. And this is not an anti gun march at all. This is not an anti gun march.
It's for the safety of our schools. This is not at all an anti-gun march. P, not an anti-gun march. But thanks to everyone to, who came to support us and our community and America. Thank you very much, guys. Okay, guys, so now we're going to um, open it up to some poems that were written from high schools all across the city. Um, they really want to express how they feel in their voice, and I think that this is the best platform to allow them. So if you wrote a poem, please come forward. Hi, I'm Rosario Maestros, and uh, <laughs> I'm Rosario Maestros. This is my poem that I read. Um, Speak up! Hi, my name is Rosario Maestros. This is a poem that I read, uh, wrote for everyone here today. I'm not against gun violence. I'm not against the right to bear arms. That's not what I'm here for. But I'm not okay with ignoring gun violence like it's a daily routine. Turning your head like a page in a book. Written by the minority who know the consequence of being innocent. However, the best seller is believing that there isn't a problem in society. Just like children who like to watch Donald Duck in the White House to forget their problems. It takes children being murdered in cold blood who will never understand the potential of life because you denied to get gun control notarized. <coughs> How many more have to die? I'm not against bearing arms, but it's not fair to the bear to rip off an arm for a dent in its car. Protecting themselves is a right. Protecting ourselves is a right we are born with, and it's protected by law. But murder should not be. any food that we joked might kill us. Lunch was never something to fear. Once upon a time, lock and secure was a fun drill we practiced just in case. We never took it serious because we didn't have to. Once upon a time, congressmen said they wanted what was best for our children, and we believed them. Then we asked them to protect our children, and they chose their weapons. We don't believe them anymore. Once upon a time, we watched in horror at a tragedy called Sandy Hook. We said never again. It happened again, and again, and again. Once upon a time, high schoolers all around the nation got up from their desks, left their books and their pencils, and walked out. We mean it when we say never again. Mothers should not be afraid to send their kids to school. Children shouldn't avoid the crowds at lunch for fear of their lives. The government should choose their children over their guns. A good week isn't a week when we have one school shooting. A good week is a week where the only immediate threat to our children is the test they didn't study for. Once upon a time, we said enough is enough. We meant it. Thank you. Martyred a Sestina. This way, you'll know what to do, they tell me, one of the many students. Who will become a martyr when struck by guns, when struck by fear? Will we resist? I hear the word resist. I see what we're trying to do. Banish fear. Protect the students while they protect guns and paint themselves as the martyr. Who will become a martyr when they resist while our cries are being drowned out by the shots of their guns the way they always do? It'll be the students driven by fear. Them, we do not fear. We should not have to be a martyr. We should just be students, so we resist. We do, we resist more than just guns. 
because this is more, more about more than just guns. This is about standing up to fear, to do what it takes to prevent a martyr. When they try to silence our voice, we resist because we are more than just students. I am one of many students who sits in my classroom thinking not about math, but guns. I resist the constant fear that I will either become a martyr or I will die not knowing what to do. I work with students who have to think about guns. They say they will resist, that they know what to do, that they do not fear. No one should tell a seven-year-old not to be a martyr. <coughs> Thank you so much. Anyone else want to read? Okay. second glance or allow someone to make a purchase of war signs that will eventually lead to another school's demise maybe because it's not your kids mr. president you can't empathize nor sympathize with parents who will never see their kids again I don't believe you can hear their cries you sit in a chair with your arms crossed while innocent lives continue to be lost you see mr. president you cheating on your wife as small beans for the parents having to see their dead kids on movie screens. However, the teachers that died cannot be forgotten, for it was them who stepped into the line of fire as smooth as silk cotton. Their families missed them too, I'm sure, but together we all must endure. Mr. President, you must hear our voices and see our faces, even though we are all from different places. And we come from, and we are all different races. <laughs> Sorry guys. Instead of conversations with Russians, you need to talk to school boards and have useful discussions. Yeah. Yeah. Do you really believe that arming teachers is the answer? Stop jumping around the issue like a tap dancer. On this day, you must face us like a real man. We won't wait any longer for you to offer up a real plan. On this day, we march for our lives. Tweet that, Mr. President, tweet that. Yeah. are supposed to protect us from harm. They are supposed to take care of us. They are supposed to raise us. They are supposed to teach us how to be. So tell me why our parents are teachers and tell me why teachers are being told to protect us with their bodies. Tell me why teachers are being given guns to shoot someone to protect us. This is not the country that I want to live in. I want to live in a country where I can sit in my classroom and I don't even have to think about the word gun. I should be able to do my math homework <laughs> without thinking about if I'll get to turn it in. Our Congress, our president, are supposed to make laws in the interest of the American people, in the interest of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And this is not that country right now. We need change, we need legislation, and we need gun control. We don't need to ban all guns. We need to make sure that they're being handled safely and responsibly. Teachers, everyone who's of age, we need you to protect us with your vote. We need you 
to vote for what is right and what will protect us. Thank you. to thank you all for coming. Thank you all for using your First Amendment. Thank you all for registering to vote. And in, on, on November 6th, please remember these children. Remember these kids. And if you're kids and you're going to be 18, what do you need to do? Vote. Okay? And again, I ask you, what do you need to do? Vote. Okay? Remember that. Go to the polls. And if you're not going to be 18, let me tell you something. You might sit there and you might think, I can't do anything. I call, like Emma does, BS. Because you have parents. You have friends. You have older siblings. You got to show up and vote. Otherwise, we can't complain anymore. welcome to register to vote. Y'all are welcome to uh, uh, be peaceful, to be amazing citizens of this country because you are. Okay? So play the music, register to vote, and God bless America. Thank you so much, I, A, we love you guys. 